a siren, a dangerously seductive creature who would lure in nearby sailors with a captivating voice, only for them to be led to destruction on the rocky coasts of their island. Join me and learn how to become a siren. The first thing we're gonna work on is the shell bra. So I ordered these shells from Amazon. They are plastic, but I would really recommend getting the foam type. So I painted it all pink with acrylic paints, and now I'm going to add on some embellishments with E6000, and just going to add on pearls and crystals all over the place, just spread them out and make it however you like. Once your shell is all decorated, grab a skin color bra that has no underwiring. I got this for $5 at Macy's and I'm going to try it on and mark where I need to put the glue. So I'm using E6000 again to glue on the shells. Make sure you have a window open and some well ventilation while using E6000 because it is a little toxic. So glue on your shells, let it completely dry. I'm using this kind of sea kelpy stuff that I found at Michael's and I'm hot gluing it on and just going to glue some pearls on top of that. So set that aside, let it dry. Now we're gonna work on the shell crown, which is my favorite piece from this whole outfit. So you're gonna need a headband and I just went ahead and glued a thicker piece of ribbon onto this so I have more space to work with. And just grab a hot glue gun. I got these shells at Michael's and just begin gluing on your design. I'm adding in a mixture of pearls as well. For the kelp, I am using two different pieces of ribbon and I am just using a needle and thread. Cut pieces of ribbon about an inch and a half to two inches long and we're going to sew these together. You can also glue them together if you're not that great with a needle and thread. So this is going to be one piece of our little kelp. Then grab a longer strand of ribbon, however long you want it to go, and I'm just going to thread this on as well. And you're going to thread them all down along the ribbon. You can glue these as well, but I just like to sew it because it's more secure. So once you have them done, I just got two pieces of these and I'm going to glue some pearls on, just scatter them around for some added decoration. Then I'm going to grab the two pieces of the kelp and glue them together. You can also sew them if you want. Again, with a hot glue gun, I'm going to glue on the kelp onto the bottom portion of the headband. And to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm going to add some more hot glue and just wrap some ribbon around that so you can't really see all the glue on this piece. For the fin portion on the crown, I just grabbed some wire and made two shapes like this and laid them down on a piece of fabric and just outlined the shape cut it out and glue it on. I just hot glued the whole thing on. So once you have it glued on, grab your hot glue gun again and place the glue on top of the wire. So then we're gonna have another piece of fabric that we've already pre-cut and glue it right on top of it. Be careful not to burn yourself, but just press it down firmly. Then once you're done gluing that on, we're going to grab our hot glue gun again and I'm going to place it on the wire portion of the fin and just grab some glitter and sprinkle it on. And this will kind of define the thicker portion inside of the fin. Once it's all dry, go ahead, grab your hot glue gun again and we're going to glue this on to your already completed crown. Make sure to hold it in place so it is slanted however way you like. Next, we're gonna work on the tool fins, which was actually an idea of a friend of mine. So you're going to grab a piece of elastic. This is just a sparkly piece of elastic. You're gonna measure the top portion of your calf and sew it together so it's like a circle like this and it's pretty sturdy and it won't snap apart. Then grab different colors of tool. I measured the tool from the top of my calf to the bottom of my ankle. And you're just going to bunch it up and sew it on. You can tack it down. One of my friends who did this as well actually tied a knot at the top and hot glued it on, which will work fine as well. So once you have a few pieces on, I like to spread the colors. It should look something like this. And now all you have to do is get dressed in your costume. I'll supply all of the links in the description for all of the remainder of the costume pieces that I purchased. 